Welcome to Lecture Online, and here's an example that you will become very familiar with very soon when you start doing derivatives. But notice if I do try to plug in the value of 0 for h, because as h approaches 0, you can see that you get a 0 in the denominator, and of course you cannot divide by 0, so therefore you cannot find the limit in this format. However, if we work things out and simplify whatever we can, we might be able to substitute 0 in for h. So let's see that this is equal to the limit. And of course you have to keep writing this as h approaches 0. We're going to multiply this out, so this is going to be 16 plus 8h plus h squared minus 16 divided by h. All right, now you can see that you have a 16 minus 16. That cancels out. And now we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 8h plus h squared divided by h. Still, I cannot plug in 0 for h because I will get 0 in the denominator. However, you can see that you have an h in the numerator in each of the two terms. Therefore, we can simplify by, by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 8 plus h. Now we can go ahead and substitute 0 for h because now we can see that there's no h in the denominator, so this becomes 8 plus 0, which is equal to 8, and therefore the limit as h approaches 0 of this function right here is equal to 8. And that's how we do that.